Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to use Reddit Ads Inspiration Library to run better ads. Reddit's looking to help advertisers learn what works best with the Reddit audience with the addition of a new Reddit Ads Inspiration Library, which, as it sounds, provides an overview of the best performing ads running on the platform in various verticals. As you can see in this example, Reddit's ads library is similar to the same offered by TikTok and Meta, offering insight into the best performing campaigns in the app. Well, TikTok's at least. Meta's is more focused on transparency, while Reddit's taking the same approach as TikTok in highlighting top ad examples for marketers to learn from. In the tool, you can filter your search results by keyword, vertical, add budget, format, placement, and our objective in order to glean more insight into how those in each sector are making use of Reddit ads. And when you tap through on any of the ad examples displayed, Reddit will also give you the top three creative best practices as identified by Reddit's AI system that have been utilized in that campaign. Let's take a look. Before we start, we have other videos about LinkedIn ads library, Facebook ads library, etc. But maybe your competitors or similar advertisers aren't advertising on those platforms. Well, if you can find something on Reddit, maybe you can still use it as an inspiration and what you can do in other paid social platforms. We'll see. The first thing that we can do is to start searching. So I'm just going to type in a keyword, coffee. So I just typed that in and we see that Reddit is showing us 60 ads active within the past year. You can just scroll down and right away you get pretty good visuals of what other advertisers are doing as well as the copy that they're using. We also see a mix of ad formats. We have video here, single image here, and we also see a mix of placements between the main feed as well as potentially some conversation placements. And we're also getting an understanding of the call to action that these advertisers are using. If you're not really familiar with Reddit, they do have a different ad specs than most of other platforms. You can say a lot more clearly in this one. But if I go back up, let's look at Scooter's Coffee. If I highlight over it, we can do a few things. I can just copy the link, head up to a new tab or browser, and now we can get a better view of what this ad looks like. Going back, highlighting over, you can actually view the post, but viewing the post is literally going to take you to the same link that we look at. So a couple ways that you can share it with other members of your team or your clients. Now here's one of the main features of the ad library for Reddit is viewing the file details. You can do this for any single ad that you want to go into. Reddit will give you some specific details about the ad and the campaign. What I mean by that is we get to see what campaign objective this advertiser is using. This one was pretty easy to tell, but we still get the ad format this one was using. What Reddit considers their ad budget to be, whether it's low, medium, or high, and then industry. When we look at other ads and other ways that you can search, I'll show you what the industry options are. But within this main feature, Reddit is using some AI tools to give you three best practices that this particular ad is using. So in this case, Reddit likes that they're using the brand name in the headline, they're using a benefit-driven call to action, and as we can see, AI doesn't get everything perfect. It is what it is. We still get the idea though. And then the last best practice that Reddit says this ad is using is a community focus because it says your community within the ad copy. So that's just one example. Let's head back. This gives us an opportunity to look at the other ways that you can use the ads library. Here's what I was talking about earlier. You can look by specific industries. So there's a retail, e-commerce, B2B, B2C, some very higher level options. Let me go back up. Let's choose B2B. There we see these options have refreshed. We can get down a little bit further. Let's look at the budget options, which are low, medium, high. Maybe we can choose a medium budget. Ad formats. Maybe you've never tried video on the platform before and you want to see what other advertisers using video in your space are doing. You can filter by the ad type or the flip side. Maybe you know you're not just going to get the video so you don't care to see what other platforms running video ads in your space are doing. Then just choose image or carousel. I'm going to leave it as it is. Placements. If you only want to see main feed, that's fine. And if you want to look by a specific campaign objective, all of these are what we saw in the first coffee ad. So here's another way to separate video views. If you do not promote an app, see what other app promotion campaigns are out there. But already you may get some ideas of what to do or not to do. And some of this stuff should be caught up in the ad preview before we even launch. But if we see this example, ads are this advertiser had a really small image and Reddit is really trying to stretch it out. It's definitely going to be a main feed ad here. 
It's a good wake-up call to double-check your ad specs and what Reddit recommends you should have to make sure you have them ready before you even promote on Reddit so people don't eat you up. Then we can scroll down some options here. We see an example of a carousel ad. So I can go through it right here. I can open it in a different window. Here's some AI tech using Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a little silly, but a lot of people do like to use humor on Reddit. So this is a good way to see even what kind of tone other advertisers are using. And there we see that the image varieties in here are different. This looks like a basic logo. These three up here really look like they're talking about LinkedIn style effect with it. We have other humor here. Someone's posting memes. Even though you add an image, sometimes your ads just show up only with the text. Keep that in mind too. So when we see options here, it doesn't really tell me much if I'm only seeing the text. Might give you an idea of potentially what not to do. But again, we really can tell if this is actually working or not. Do you want to go back up? Let's choose a different space. Let's say if you are selling features for pickup trucks. We can actually look at the ad again. And here is where you'll actually be able to watch the video. So from a video side, you'll be able to see what creative that they're using. Clearly a vertical style video, more user generated, that whole type of thing. But I want to go back and actually look at the ad. I want to look at a few more of the best practices in a couple different ads so you can see some of the things that Reddit mentions of what they consider a best practice. So call to action, that is something we go a little bit worded differently in the first option. This is new, a value proposition pushing the simplicity and ships this week. Do you think that's a great feature? Don't know if the title of this is accurate. Scarcity doesn't think it really applies. There's no mention that there's only a few left, but I think it does push the urgency. Let's go back to coffee. We have a few options here. Using emojis and add copy also allowed on Reddit. It's something you've never tested before. Maybe this can give you some inspiration. Let's look at the details on this one. Here we get a few new ones. While it's another mention of a call to action, it's a different variant of it. Reddit is calling out the action focus call to headline as well as including the brand name for recognition. Kind of falls in line with the other AI generated best practice. Calling out a limited time offer. Now to me, this is scarcity and urgency that fits with the other callout from the other ad, but still a good recommendation. And Reddit is also calling out here that it likes humor and brand recognition. This example falls under consumer package goods. Couple familiar ones, brand name in the headline, but this one's flat out calling out humor. See, even AI likes a good pun. And there we see clarity, easy to understand, potentially really easy for the fast paced environment on Reddit. Getting straight to the point, let's look at maybe a couple more. This one in the auto industry, few familiar ones, clear city A, brand name inclusion, but this benefit focus one is new. We really see it in the ad tags and within the image itself. No matter what the tone is, the verbal message is crystal clear. And then this is in the other industry for baseball card authentication, another brand in city A in the headline, but the new one here is communicating features and benefits. I think with all the examples that we've seen, calling out brand name and having a clear city A, one that you can actually include in your ad copy is pretty important in Reddit since it does show up a lot. Hopefully it's something that you're already testing out in all of your ad copy. Anyway, and here's one last tactic that I do want to talk about because it's going to be different than the other asset libraries in the other paid social platforms. And that is searching for a specific brand. That's not really an option here. In order to find this specific brand, I had to have the brand name that matched their actual username. If I put a space in between metal and dash, this option didn't show up. So it's not like Facebook or LinkedIn where you can find a specific brand and see all the ads that the brand has run within the past. So you kind of have to go on Reddit, see if the brand is on there, type in the brand username up here and see potentially what might show up. So competitive research is kind of an option, but it's a lot harder to do. I think it's a reason why this option is called inspiration and not just a flat out ads library. It's a pretty simple tool, but it can still be helpful, especially if you're new to Reddit. The Reddit ads inspiration library is a valuable tool for any marketers looking to advertise on Reddit. By providing access to top performing ads and offering AI powered insights, the library makes it easier for advertisers to create campaigns that resonate with the platform's unique audience. Whether you're a seasoned advertiser or new to Reddit, the Ads Inspiration Library offers a lot of information that can help you optimize your campaigns and achieve better results. That's all for today's video. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Post Influence by Technic Force. Rank at the top of the SERPs and drive organic traffic to any niche with the only SEO strategy that still works. Get yourself and your customers free targeted traffic with guest posts on high ranking and high traffic websites. Zoom to the top of the SERPs with 100% organic link building 
and traffic source. Find tons of blogs and websites eager to post your articles. Get 100% organic do follow links. Only ranking sites, no bad players or dead blogs. Automated email and SMS reach out. Email and phone number of bloggers and influencers. And a lot more. Post Influence builds you backlinks and gets you new traffic with hands free ease. So, what are you waiting for? Get Post Influence now. Just go to getpostinfluence.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.